Hi, I'm Seth with Land the House, and this is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. In this video, I want to talk to you about bicycle inner tubes in the pressure tank. So the concept behind the bicycle inner tube as a tank fill is that it creates a bladder or an air space that is constant inside of the pressure tank because over time the air will absorb into the water and the uh, available pressure area goes away. And so what happens is something called hitting hard and uh, we can actually demonstrate that real quick. I'll close off the delivery pipe and we'll see uh, the pressure build that high until it hits hard. So you can see that the water level is at this point here in the pressure tank. But if I close off the delivery pipe going up the hill here, you'll see the water start to climb up a bit as the air is compressed. And the further up it goes, the harder the valve is going to hit. All right, it's beginning to happen here. If I come over here and listen to the drive pipe. It's starting to hit really hard. Basically this will, uh, well, eventually the water will be all the way up into the cap and the, uh, the air itself will have absorbed into the water and gone away and the pump will just continue to hit harder and harder. So, let me go ahead and open this back up. You can see the water level go back down here. Come back over to our pipe. It's a different sound. Instead of a rattling sound, it's more of just a, a vibration there. Okay, so that's just a basic example of what happens when the pressure tank doesn't have an air uh, bladder inside. So we're going to be installing this inner tube and see what happens whenever the pump is turned on. And then I'm going to leave it uh, without the delivery pipe open and see how long this tube lasts before it uh, gives up the ghost. Okay, I want to first turn off the drive pipe water. It's always silt build up. Okay, I'm going to close the delivery pipe. And next I'm going to open the pressure tank and release the water. Hopefully I'll be able to get this tank off of here. I finally got the tank off and I had to use some giant clamps to uh, unscrew the union. The problem was I forgot to clean it when I reattached it last time and so there was a lot of uh, sand in there. Okay, so this is a typical inner tube that I would use for all of my land house ram pumps that are for sale and uh, it's a nice thick rubber. So what I want to do is fill this up big enough to pretty much fill the entire tank. I get the question quite often how full should you make the inner tube? And uh, I've always found that just full enough to fit seems to work well. This may actually be a little bit too much still to get in here. Nope, that's about right. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do. Go ahead and get this reattached. Maybe not quite so tight this time. Let's go over here and get this installed, see what happens. Okay. So what I want to do is go ahead and close this valve here every time I turn it backwards. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start the pump and I'm going to leave the delivery pipe closed for about four days and see what happens to that bicycle inner tube. Okay, almost reached the point of last time. All right, that's the typical level there. So anything above that is extra.
see how that bicycle tube is faring in there. It's definitely shrunk down some. A lot, actually. A whole lot. Yeah. Of course, most of the air has gone up into here. You know, I'm not sure if I should leave my pump going with hard hits for a whole uh, four days. Okay, see how the ram pump is acting now? There's no more space for the water to go up here and it's just acting really uh, sporadic. So, I think what I'm gonna do is remove the pressure tank, check the inner tube to see if it's gone or if it's still working well, and then we will uh, maybe run this for the next six hours or so and see what it looks like. I'm just kind of afraid to run my pump at this stage all the time. So, let's go ahead and close this off again. Open this once more. <laughs> Let's open that back up and see what the pressure tank or the uh, inner tube looks like in there. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah. Okay, it's still uh, intact and air seems to be in there just fine. So I think what I'm gonna do now is run the pump normal for a little bit and see if the uh, inner tube seems to make a difference with the uh, normal operation. For normal operation, I would close this valve, open this one all the way, let this prime real quick. Just a couple of hits ought to do it. All right, and then I can open the delivery pipe. Okay. Let's run it like this for a few minutes and see what happens. One thing I'm seeing that's different already with the bicycle inner tube, there's more give inside of the pressure tank. If you look really close here at the water level where it's uh, bouncing up and down, there appears to be more uh, bounce. I apologize for the poor focus here. There we go. So it's uh, bouncing up and down about a half an inch. And I don't believe it was doing that with the uh, pressure tank with no inner tube inside. So I like that pretty good. Let's let it run like this for the next four hours. And then we'll run it for uh, several hours on lockdown and see what happens. Well, it's only been four hours, but I can see the water level is still where it was before. And the inner tube, I can see pulsing inside of that uh, pressure tank, which means it still has air in it. I don't know if I can get this to focus or not. I don't know if you can see it pulse in there. Uh, so let's go ahead and close off the delivery pipe and see what happens when it runs uh, with a hard hit for a while. Yeah. All right, we'll come back in a little while and see what's happening. Okay, it's been four days. The ram pump has been hitting hard because I closed the delivery pipe, which means it should be quite waterlogged and uh, should have basically no air left in the pressure tank. That's my thoughts. Let's head down here and see what's going on. Yeah, so as you can see, definitely no more air in the top of that pressure tank and uh, it's just not working very well. So, we're gonna go ahead and open this up and see what kind of results we get here. So, stop this is the first task. Okay. Then, I wanna go ahead and let the uh, water out of here, hopefully. And I think it's full. Ah, there we go. Whew. I'm glad that let loose. All right, let me see if I can get this uh, union loose and we'll see what the inner tube looks like. Aha, nice. I'm glad that worked. 
Okay, moment of truth. <laughs> Definitely still has air in it, but it's not as much as it was. Let's see if I can give you a good look there. So it has lost some air inside of that tube. But four days hitting that hard definitely will make a difference. So if you're wondering why I put a bicycle inner tube in the ram pump pressure tank, it uh, is basically a bladder that will bounce back whenever the pressure wave occurs. So uh, earlier in the video, you saw that every time it uh, cycled, it would uh, bounce a little bit. And uh, that basically just keeps an air bubble at the top of the tank and uh, helps feedback to push water uphill. I'm sure there's a much more detailed explanation that uh, I'm not 100% familiar with, but uh, I do know that it helps. So, um, so far I've found that a bicycle inner tube is the best fill material. In a future video, I'm going to be putting things like tennis balls, uh, ping pong balls, rubber balls, like racquetball, and just see what happens. And uh, we'll go from there. Remember, I have four different sizes available at landahouse.com and on Amazon. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.